Hi there, this is Steve England from London TV Training. I'm a voiceover, and if you'd like to get into voiceovers as a career, we will help you to understand the fundamentals, if you've got the time to learn and practice. I'll play a short part of my interview with Tom Marshall, who is now an established voiceover. The complete version of this interview is included in different modules of the voiceover course. We're hoping to meet you at London TV Training Online Courses. Tom, you, you're you not from a, a background you would expect voiceovers to come from, no. are you? No. So tell us about your background. Uh, so originally when I left school, I um, I did work in radio, but only for a few years. And then I joined the police service and I was in the police for 20 years. Um, I just had a complete change of heart. Um, wanted to get back into doing voicing and working in the media. So um, I didn't know that you started in radio. So what, what, did, were you, what did you do in radio? Uh, I worked at my local BBC station and I volunteered for a couple of years, made the tea, did all that kind of stuff. And then, uh, and then slowly got myself into a position where people trusted me more. I went out, I interviewed people, did some features, and then did a little bit of voicing, not a massive amount. Um, so I would always have that experience back then to rely on. Yeah, I would say that that's uh, something that I put in the course is that, you know, volunteer for something. People are always interested in volunteers, uh, particularly on smaller stations. I mean, you were lucky enough to get into the BBC, but even the community stations and so on, like, everything is experience, isn't it? 100%. I mean, back then it was hospital radio was another area that you could get into but now the new hospital radio is community radio there are so many of these stations you you'd be if you wanted to to do voicing or get into radio that's the, that's the place i'd go now is community yeah and i think on a lot of these community stations you will find people who have had a long career in radio and then eventually they the career kind of winds up or they become um, retired and this is kind of a hobby those are the people that you really need to learn from. definitely yeah season pros yeah. definitely yeah I'd agree with that learn from the others um, so how did you get involved in voicing in the first instance this wasn't an overnight thing there were there was probably a couple of months where I struggled I scratched around for work but I just persevered because I thought I, I know I can do it and, and so that that's that's how I got into it again